there. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> so I'm with Robin from Wistia. She is the email marketing manager. Robin, why should companies start using video and email? Yeah, I mean, video, we all know, is the next frontier, right? It's We wouldn't be watching this video if we weren't. Um, but it's a really great way to make a connection. So when you send an email to someone, it can feel very impersonal, and words aren't always enough to express what you want to say. So a video is a wonderful way you can convey tone. Um, I've heard recently of someone conveying like a rejection from getting a job via video, which is a little harsh, but it adequately said what they wanted to say without you know, seeming cold or distant. So video is great for that. Wow, and has there been any feedback from yourself or your company from using video and email? Any negative or positive feedback? Yeah, I think it typically catches people off guard just because we know it's not that popular yet. Um, so especially with Soapbox, when you put a video in an email, you're really allowing someone to see into you, like your, you and your day, I guess. So the feedback has been generally pretty positive. Some people get a little freaked out, like they don't want to make the video themselves. But when they see the video, they are really receptive to it. And you just said that people kind of get freaked out about making video themselves. Um, what kind of tips do you have for the people who want to start making video and email, but kind of have that uh, nervous hurdle to jump over? Yeah, so I think the first thing is that like video doesn't have to be hard and complicated. It can just be you and your iPhone shooting something or your webcam. So like one, don't worry about the production value because it'll look great. Um, but also if you're nervous about it, just think about how much easier it is to, to say something than to write it. And don't worry about looking good. Just kind of position your webcam. We always say put your webcam um, up high, like higher than your face, so that it looks good. Just like you're taking a selfie, make sure you have a good angle. Um, and besides that, just be yourself. And people get that people stutter and make mistakes, and that's fine. Yeah, and it's definitely easier to see a video, especially when you have those long written emails. Like nothing's worse than you see like full text, and a video kind of removes that. Yeah, it's great. And it's something that. Honestly, I think at some point we'll just end up sending videos instead of text. So if you're a salesperson, why bother writing that intro paragraph? Just send a thumbnail, let someone click it and go. get to know you. Yeah, exactly. I was going to add, that was actually going to be my next question is, uh, do you see video replacing email? Yeah, I think email will always exist to an extent, um, unless there's some new like crazy technology out there, because we know it is a really effective medium, right? Um, and so many companies need it, especially e-commerce companies, but it could, we're seeing a lot of GIFs and um, more animation, CSS animations in email. So it's kind of bringing movement into static places in addition to just thumbnails for video. Is it GIFs or GIFs? I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Okay, so the debate, right? Yeah, like. The real debate. So I say GIFs because someone corrected me saying they heard a presentation from the person who made it who said GIF like peanut butter. So that is what I'm saying. But GIFs is also right because that's what they get for putting a letter in. The, the wrong letter. It's the wrong letter. It should be a J if it's a J. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much. Yeah, of course.